Oh, there it is, the beautiful, oh, the majestic, the gigantic storage cathedral gamers. It's looking spicy as ever. I've been busy in between episodes. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, though it's me, your boy Waddles. Today, I decided to switch it up a little bit. Check this out. Look at the water. You notice anything? Look at the sun, the shadows, mm-hmm. Subtly beautiful, yeah? Yeah, right? Yep, mm-hmm, definitely right. Now, what, what is going, going on here? here? I'll show you what's going on here. Video settings right there, shaders, boom. We have a shader shader on. It's a very minimal shader. It's called Silder's Enhanced Default. It was recommended by some of you guys over on Twitter. I used it in a couple other videos and boom, now it's over here. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see me usually use this? You'll get a pretty decent look at it in today's episode. Probably, maybe, hopefully. I might just use it next episode as well, but definitely let me know if you like it, if you don't like it. Oh, but we have some catching up to do big time, big time. So much catching up to do. Today, we're going to work on the storage building a little bit more, hopefully. Hopefully, we're going to be able to finish it today. Don't know for sure, but storage building. So, uh, remember, our entrance is going to be over here on the side. Haven't done much, but I did lower the window down so we can actually get in easily. Then, we move inside of the building, and here we have a complete storage wall. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And then we move over here. Check this out. Boom, right behind me, another complete storage wall. Yep, lots and lots of wood was used up to make this happen, but I think it looks so good. Then, I came in here and tried to do some detailing, so I have... Dark oak right there, and then dark oak up there, and then a dark oak fence in the, in the back there, and then spruce right there. I don't know. I, I'm not 100% sold on it, so definitely let me know. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I came up with. Then down here, I don't remember if I said at the end of the episode, but trap doors down next to the barrels. I think I will probably store some things in barrels too, because I mean, they're there. But then, uh, also, 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 how could we forget? Up top, we have this area that is now complete with lots and lots of smithing tables. This floor was expensive, or the ceiling, depending on how you look at it, but it looks good. Hoo-hoo, I love it. I am really, really happy with it. So, today, what's the plan? Well, actually, pretty simple. All we're gonna do is work on the storage building. In today's episode, we'll be talking about detailing tips and tricks for large-scale builds, and then also just continuing to piece the storage room together. If you're enjoying the storage room build, you know what to do to the like button. Uh, give the like button a warm hello. All right, so where do we start? Well, I, I think it's pretty straightforward. Where we need to start is the second floor, which means this back wall, which honestly, I am dreading. I'm not very excited to work on this back wall because I kind of don't have much of an idea, but here is what I'm kind of thinking. Oh, but wait, but wait, but wait. One more thing. On the outside of the build, I've made some changes. The spikes on the front of the build, uh, they were spaced weirdly. I went ahead and moved the spikes over one block. So we have a spike on the central peak, then another one, then another one, then another one. And then on the top flat part, I came in and added even more spikes. Honestly, I think the additional spikes make the build, they make it look so much more detailed than then. That ugly dark oak thing on the front, it's gone. Don't worry about it. I put cobbles on there for now. Don't know if that's going to stay. Still thinking about like gold or, or maybe diamond or, or something like that. But for now, it's cobblestone. Back of the build. Let's go. Here's what I'm thinking. So, I still like the idea of two big square towers. What we would do is stone bricks probably right in there, and then we'd start this back wall. The back wall should be done definitely with stone. I, I think stone would look the best. I was thinking maybe we could go out something like five or so blocks. I'm not 100% sure on the dimensions because I haven't really messed with it in the creative world at all, but probably five or so blocks. If we were to go five or so blocks, here's what we'd end up with. Stone brick pillar. Uh, three blocks of stone stone brick pillar over here then we'd be able to create the perfect arch in there which is literally quite literally perfect then we could do the same thing over here we could turn then we go one uh two uh three gonna have to cut away some of this hill by the way of course but there we go three then we could do that right there and then the same thing it curves back over towards the center and then look how far over we are that is actually pretty good then inside of these things i was thinking we could maybe somehow do a spiral staircase going up over there another one over there maybe we do some sort of like bridge connecting these two on that wall and then a big fireplace uh-huh uh-huh a big fireplace that would be sweet in the storage building and then i'm like standing here for like the intros the outros whatever i'm doing and, and there's a fireplace in the background fireplaces are always cool and, and they're cozy too yeah mm -hmm, definitely that's gonna be the move
All right, so here's how we start. We have a tower that goes straight up just like that arches over. That's pretty cool so far. Now we need to set things up and make it a little bit more interesting. So to do that, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe, actually, instead of dark oak, we'll use spruce because it'll actually match the spruce logs. Go like perfectly with dark oak. You, you see the tone right there? That tone, that tone, very, very similar. Now, I have to be 100% clear here. This tower, I care about it. It's a good tower, you know, it, it's nice and all, but I also don't care about it at all because it's gonna be at the back of the build and since the last episode i've done some thinking and and i've come to a bit of a a realization an awakening of sorts so the, the back of the build it's important right uh, very 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 but we probably won't be building back here in the jungle at least for a little bit because the focus is around the water after all so you know what i i care about the backside and i was thinking about a grand entrance over here but why would i want a grand entrance on the side that i'm never gonna come in yeah, that's right. I wouldn't. That wouldn't make any sense at all. So instead of doing something crazy fancy back here, I'm thinking about leaving it very, very simple. So we have these towers come up just like that. And then honestly, I'm thinking we could probably just cap this off somehow. Maybe like dark oak staircases and slabs and then a little bit of stone on the roof. All this is really here for is getting up to that spot right there after all. So it doesn't need to be like insanely over the top fancy. I'm never going to see it. Like literally never all right now let's see what we can pull off here up at the top so we have arches going all the way around that's gonna look good over, over there, there was a mock-up okay ignore it so uh this is what we could do we could maybe come in here with with stone bricks right and and definitely the variations too can't forget about those so we'll come in here with some mossy stone bricks as well uh we could go up like that right mm -hmm. then maybe in the middle to, to add a little bit of like interestingness to, to this thing <laughs> if that makes sense we could go up even more right and all we're trying to do is create something that works it doesn't have to be the most beautiful thing in the world it just has to work for now think about it we're never gonna see the back of the build so if it's like yeah again not the craziest detailed thing i'm okay with that but i think this shape i mean we'll, we'll jump down and we'll, we'll take a look at it from a distance maybe like over here just to see how it looks but i think it's gonna be okay right it's not the craziest thing but it should be okay and then if we come back in here put some cobblestone walls on on these connections and then a spike on the top i think it'll blend in and it'll look fine and then by the way down there the stairwell i'm thinking we could actually embrace the jungle a little bit and and maybe uh, put some fences and leave it open but i i think that's gonna be the move that we do so i'm gonna go ahead duplicate it over there and then this wall right here so we're gonna put a fireplace on it but first we need the backing wall i'm thinking that the backing wall should probably be built out of this stuff just the the same palette as the front so it kind of matches we could get a little bit more interesting with the fireplace which we definitely will but the backing wall should probably match everything else now uh this backing wall should probably also go all the way up and i'm definitely gonna need a spiral staircase in that little room i'm thinking for the floor in this room we could maybe raise it up somehow maybe honestly even with cobblestone we haven't used like any cobblestone on the inside of the build so maybe cobblestone floor and their staircases to step up then a spiral staircase and maybe that spiral staircase is built out of uh, i don't know maybe either spruce or dark oak and then we'll do it on either side and then i'll be back very very soon i genuinely don't think i will ever get used to the insane insane absurd cost of the smithing table they are just so so expensive but anyways here's what we have now we have a back wall we have a big window up there that i think looks really really nice and then we have two spiral staircases on either side that actually ended up working out perfectly check this out i can run right up here and then boom i'm right at the level that i need to be so what we'll do is uh, we'll start by building this floor out just like that now this is going to be a little bit weird we need to connect the two sides this is what i was thinking i i think what we could do is probably just trim that out and then maybe like start here and we're gonna build right across with smithing tables i'm gonna run out but we'll build right across with smithing tables right here uh then i think what we'll do is we'll leave a gap in between uh like like this walkway and the wall so this walkway will be three blocks wide it'll be the middle that side and that side we'll have a gap right here against the wall because i'll build the fireplace up and have it blend into the wall i know there's a window there which means the fireplace won't go all the way up but don't, don't think, think about, about it too, too much, much okay? okay so we'll have these supports right here what do we do on the front if i were to add a support it would look a little bit weird so i think what we're gonna do is just actually entirely skip the front supports so this will come out and we'll just basically turn this thing and have it go right across on the front 
I feel like that'll probably be the best looking way to do this. Definitely not 100% sure on this bit, but I think it'll work. So this continues out right over to here, uh, just like that. Then over here, we fill this in with smithing tables. I'm gonna need a whole lot more. This floor is expensive, but yeah, I, I think that'll make this area look nice and finish it off. Of course, we're gonna wanna be able to cut across from side to side because we're gonna put more storage up here. And if it's too complex and difficult to use, like if I have to go up two separate staircases, it would just never be realistic. It would be almost impossible to use. So here's the thing though, up top, what are we gonna do with the walls? Well, 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 you see, you see, I think this will continue straight down just like that. Then these walls could honestly, maybe just fill in kind of like that like I mean I know it's kind of weird you walk up and you have a wall but it's probably the thing that makes the most sense one thing that I'm very unsure about though is this area right in here what do we do I was kind of thinking and, and maybe this is the answer right here but we do two slabs right there and then we just do a couple wall blocks to get it down to like here that's probably honestly the best move I could do walls going down to here and then I could maybe do slabs at the base of it to just connect it across yeah that's probably it. I, I just don't have any walls on me, but I think that'll be the way that I do that one. Will this work? Now, uh, I know that the walls are going to connect a little bit weird because we have these blocks behind them. There's not too much that I can do about this. The question is, will this sort of just like basically fill in this area in an okay way? I think the answer right there is yes. I feel like that is okay, and you can't really see that weird connection too much. Now, do we want to do slabs in here to have this come right across? Um... Probably. I feel like that box is that in, and that connection right there, that's not too weird. That kind of blends in perfectly. So we will definitely go ahead and do that. Then the floor up here finishes just like that. And then over here, that's going to be perfect. This will go straight down into the ground. That connection is perfect. That's all exactly how it should be. Okay, next up, let's talk about the storage up here. So we have this weird area back in here. I don't think we could really effectively utilize that. So I think probably the best way to go here is just going to be cutting it off. But we can't put a chest there because that won't open. So what I think we're going to want to do here is maybe honestly just line the floor here with chests like going all the way down or in fact if we wanted to we could double the storage like that if we went back that way and then put all item frames above it that would be a really good call but at the same time <laughs> that might get a little bit excessive i mean seriously when am i ever gonna use all of these chests honestly the answer is probably never and then these supports, these can go straight down into the ground and then behind the chest, I could probably just come in with dark oak because we already have dark oak in there. Uh, so yeah, dark oak is probably gonna be the way to go. Dark oak in here, just like that. And then we'll do dark oak right behind it again, just like that. And then we can just set the chest on the ground and then actually what I could do if I wanted to is stack them, duh. So then I can have them all looking out because I think the chest looks better like that. And then this is, this is an odd section. So we'll just do like single chest, single chest in the middle or something like that. There is one block that I'd like to come back in here and get in here though. And that is the chiseled stone brick and all of these middle connections. I feel like that would be really cool. And I actually haven't used any chiseled stone bricks in this entire build quite yet. A uh, little bit of a side note here. I'm actually really impressed with this build and how it's actually... <laughs> actually, it's coming together, like, really, really nicely. Like, it all makes sense. The blocks all fit. And, yeah, I'm just really, really happy and excited. If you can remember a couple episodes back, uh, me saying that this was going to be basically my first mega build ever. And, I mean, in my opinion, it's ending up, like, yeah, like I just said, like, really, really solid. I'm, like, seriously, genuinely, like, really impressed with myself and honestly this is probably my biggest storage building ever too which is which is really really cool i don't think we'll ever need to expand this thing and if we do we can probably expand it in ways that don't actually involve like adding another story or moving things around big time or anything like that any expansion that i have to make probably just has to do with reorganizing the chests in some way like up here like maybe moving the chest back a little bit or or something like that because there's a lot of extra space in here that i actually just won't be using today like i mean look at this you could literally walk back here if this stuff wasn't in the way yeah you see that yeah, mm -hmm. there's so much extra space. Okay, but anyways, let's move on to the fireplace now. So we have the center spot right there. We're going to want this fireplace to be three blocks wide, I think. And uh, to spice it up even more, in this fireplace, we're going to put soul campfires instead of just plain old campfires. The soul fire would look really, really cool. Now, I'm thinking on the fireplace, we'll use cobblestone because we actually 
Actually, we haven't used like any cobblestone on the inside, which in my opinion is like so weird. I mean, we have the cobblestone over there. So yeah, maybe using cobblestone on the fireplace. That would look pretty nice. So I, I think what we're going to want to do is start by building up like that. Then we're going to have a base in here. And for now, I'll put dirt, but we'll probably end up putting like soul sand in there because that looks really good. Then we'll put soul campfires right on top of that. This fireplace will continue up. Can we mix these into the fireplace? Hmm, we could, but I feel like I feel like that'll stand out too much. So maybe we just take those out. We'll go up a little bit just like that. Then I think what we want to do is probably come back out on the front and go right across. But in here on the front, let's have that turn. So it's like a little bit of a mantle. And then actually, <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, but let's actually try and leave that as a mantle because then we could set things on top of it. Like maybe the dragon egg, maybe this is where it could go. But looking at the fireplace right now, it's very, very samey. We need to change something. Remember, we're going to use soul campfires here, so this won't actually cause a fire, which means we could put wooden uh, on the fireplace. And I, I think the wood would maybe look really good. That should pop out, and it'll match all of the other walls, which is always a good thing. So what do we think? Oh, yeah, wood for sure. But the sides, the sides are looking weak. So maybe what if we were to, like, build up on the sides like that or something to kind of frame it in a little bit more? Maybe that would work. I'm not too sure. Kind of. It kind of works, but I don't know. What if we were to maybe turn that out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turning that out. Definitely. Definitely. Like that. That's so much more interesting. It's a fireplace, though, and that means it's going to be a little bit dangerous. We wouldn't want anything bad to happen, right? Mm -hmm, right. So what if we did this? We have a lot of space to spare anyways. We could do iron bars in here, like curving towards the fireplace, but then like they're left open. Like, like, you know, like we're throwing things in the fire. I feel like that would be pretty sweet. Then, uh, the top part of the fireplace. I feel like this wood trick worked for sure, definitely. Which means I think what we want to do is probably come back in here with even more wood and have this continue upwards past, past the floor up here. I feel like that'll be the way to finish it. Uh, so we could have it go up like that. And in fact, could we maybe tear it so we could go up like that? And then could we do dark oak in here and have it like curve, you know, and, and like really go upwards? Um, I think we could. It's a little flat up there, so I'll have to mess with it. But something like that. Uh, maybe, like, messing with it is just getting things on there. Or maybe even the wood just goes straight up. Like, no fanciness, no weirdness right there. That honestly might be better. Like, the wood just going right up the wall. But anyways, that's what I'm thinking there. Let's go ahead and continue moving right along today to the top part of the build. Yeah, so today, my goal is keeping things moving. We've spent a lot of time on the storage building build. And don't get me wrong, I love it. And I, I really like working on this build. But I also you know, would like to finish the story of building today. So that's why I'm kind of moving like pretty quickly. So the top part of the build, what do I want to do? Well, you see, here's what I want to do. I want to create some sort of rounded like, like arch in here. And instead of just following the ceiling, uh, yeah, rounded, rounded is definitely hopefully the plan. So I think what we need to do to create that is come right off of the wall. And then we can come back in here with slabs to make that, you know, not so flat. Uh, and of course I'll come back in here with block variants too, but uh, for now, let's just worry about this. So we go up and then we curve over like that. Uh, then I'm probably, and I don't know if I brought any with me. No, I didn't really. Uh, I'm probably going to need some slabs in here too. Maybe, maybe this should be staircases instead. Like rounding that. And then I could do more staircases on the top. And oh, wait, that's where the slab comes in. Up there, we do slabs on the top to make that rounded. Yup, that's it. That's the shape for sure. I, 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 I'm pretty sure at least. <laughs> I think that's going to be the shape. Something like this. I just need to keep it from getting too thick. But yeah. Something like that, and then slabs going over to this bit right there, connecting there, and then this. Um, this is going to be expensive, but I think I'm going to do upside down staircases on this whole thing. That'll add a whole lot more detail to the ceiling. Okay, it kind of works. I just need to make sure I keep it from getting too thick, like right there, way too thick. We definitely want to keep it like one block thick maximum. Next up, the railings up here. We need to keep it safe, right? How do we keep it safe? Well, of course, railings, like I just said. The railings this time, they're going to be spruce fences. That's going to match the details that I'm doing down there, like the barrels and stuff. Yep, the spruce is going to work in here 
perfectly. The door, oh, the door. Why do I wanna do the doors? So I'm thinking that something like this. So if we take this wood in here and we go this way instead of up and down, that would make things start to get a little bit more interesting. Then we could actually curve it inwards a little. Well, ooh, we're gonna have that weird connection right there. Okay, okay, well, scratch that. Uh, no curve inwards like that. Maybe instead we could do something like this. Uh, we, we do have spruce there, so we could work with dark oak and that would match. Could we? Hmm. Probably not. Probably not easily. Okay, scratch that too. Maybe what we could do is bring this down a little bit more, uh, just like that. And then, now we have a 3x3, three three, so that means we can put a window in there. That would look good, like a little window peeking through. Then, all we need to do is figure out down here. Now, because we have such a small building area, I'm thinking that we could probably just have a door in here. Just like a door right in the middle. That'll probably be fine. The question is, just how do I want to do this? And I think that's going to be just like this. So, what we'll do is we'll actually pop this out a little bit more. We'll curve up just like that. Curve over with some staircases on either side. Just like that. And then finally, in the middle, we'll do a staircase. And then one of those right on the top. Uh, or not, or not. We'll, we'll shave that off. We'll have that shape right there. So then that'll blend right back into the wall. We'll have a door right here, and then boom, I can walk right in. All right, all right, all right. But I think uh, what I'm gonna have to do is bring the tree farming operation back in here. Thankfully, this place is so big and open that I can grow dark oak trees inside of here. I'm gonna have to farm a lot more dark oak trees, and then I'm gonna have to get busy. Uh, working on the ceiling. The ceiling is going to be the tedious part for sure. Lots of pillaring up with like not scaffolding because I don't have a scaffolding or, or a lot of it and then placing blocks and then hoping that it works out. The back fireplace is definitely gonna stay like that by the way. I'm thinking item frames in it and like a clock and then like paintings and stuff. I think that'll look good. Then soul campfires in there. Oh the soul fires are gonna look really really good in here and then uh, we could actually mine that out a little bit and maybe come in here with like more staircases or something to make this look like it goes somewhere almost, right? Now it almost looks like it goes up into the chimney, but it actually doesn't go anywhere. And that's also our secret. Shh. Oh man, oh man, oh boy, I can't wait to show you this. All I can say is one thing. Rosie, it's time. Come with me. You're leaving this house for once and for all. Hey, Agent 782, you will stay there for now. Nothing against you, nothing personal, but Rosie belongs in this new build. I've been busy. There's still a few things left to do today. Just a small handful of things, but oh boy, I've been busy. This way, Rosie, right this way. Now, before we go and actually check out the build, and go up close and personal what we're gonna do is climb the clock tower and check it out from over here I love to always get a good view of the builds right you always have to check out all of the builds from all of the angles possible so angle right here here we are check it out the storage building with the back spikes that we added earlier on in the episode all oh, that blends in perfectly and then the inside oh you get a sneak peek of the inside it's looking really really good there's one word that I can use to describe it vibes oh Oh, vibes. That's all I can say here. Look at this. The storage building is looking absolutely beautiful. I've done a lot of work. The ceiling, it's finished. The smithing table surrounding area, it's finished. And that color, that maroon right there, complements this build. It, it works so, so well here. Now, I think it's nighttime actually right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and roll it over to the daytime and then check out the rest of the build. So up front, I've got a couple things sitting around. I have a crafting table over here, the stone cutter. Over here, I have another Another crafting table, different trap doors. I'm trying to create basically like different tables sitting around in here. Then I have my sandbox sitting right here for now. It's only a temporary spot. I was thinking though about maybe leaving some shulker boxes sitting out. I think it would be cool. One thing that I would love to come back in here once we have a wolf farm and add in is definitely some banners in here. I mean, imagine it. We have like a red banner with a cool design over there, another one over there with a cool design, and then maybe even like banners over here. By the way, here's the side doors. This is what I ended up doing. We have this dark oak bit we have a spruce door in the middle then we have spruce wood back there it all kind of blends together feels like one solid piece and we have a trap door or excuse me a pressure plate right there to close the door behind me now the fireplace made some modifications we need furnaces in here so i put a furnace right there and one right there but anyways moving up here and by the way spawns are blocked everywhere check this out i went ahead and went crazy with fences and then fence gates over here to make that kind of you know safer like it's being stretched across there and then i didn't do anything over here because i was thinking 
maybe armor stand sitting there armor stand sitting there so you know like extra armor storage and 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 and, and. if we ever have to go down we could do spiral staircase going down right there which is perfect but moving up top here finally here's what we have we have the open fences over there so we can like feel the jungle breathe it in mm -hmm, definitely and then over here look at it the arches on the top they're curved they're rounded that's exactly what i was imagining and then i did a little design trick up here instead of solid blocks on the top on the center i went with walls the walls add a little bit of detail to this top area, and uh, when I have the option to, which isn't going to be today, but very, very soon, uh, we're going to come back in here and hang some massive chandeliers. I'm thinking one right there, and then one right there, too. So we'll have two chandeliers hanging in here. It's going to be gigantic. Then, in the evening, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it in here, but in the evening, like when the sky is pink, it's like pink from up here, like, like in the sky, and it's so, it's so amazing looking. Now, up top, up here, I have a crafting table again the crafting table will absolutely stay here and then I have to come back in here right now and fill this in with chests I didn't do it quite yet so what we're gonna do for now is one row of chests because honestly I think I need to like get the items inside of this building and then I'll know how many chests I need I can't place them at all right now but yeah we have to get the items in here first and then I'll know if it's even necessary to go in here and go crazy with even more chests another cool thing the light levels up here they're all perfect they're good the lanterns take care of the job but once i have more carpet and right now i just don't have very much but once i have more carpet or more access to it once we build a sheep farm i'd like to come back up here and probably add like little strips of carpet in front of the chests i think that would look really nice and it would add a, like it, it would add more detail up here for sure absolutely don't get me wrong smithing table floor it's cool it's expensive it's nice but at the same time it gets a little repetitive up here so carpet for sure definitely necessary i'm leaning towards red i'm loving the red carpet in this world but also purple purple could be kind of cool up there i thought now back down here i have a lot of work to do i need to make a lot of item frames honestly i don't know if i'm going to have enough wood to be able to make all of these item frames item frames they are crazy crazy expensive but let's actually roll over to the fireplace really quick and talk about it so i came in here with the soul campfires i put coal in the back to make it look really really deep and dark instead of black concrete coal is nice sometimes because it has a little bit of a texture like i said earlier furnace is right next to the thing and then up top so we have another reason to go back to the end now i'd like to put a dragon head right here we have one dragon head in the world which is nice but that dragon head sits on the ground outside and i kind of like you know like where it's sitting outside so i don't want to take it so uh we're gonna have to come back with a dragon head and put it in there and then i was thinking things like item frames with maybe like music discs we could do a map copy that would look nice you know just like a collection of random things up there sitting up here on the mantle for now we'll put a wither skeleton skull i thought that would be cool maybe the dragon egg i'm not too sure about that one though but wither skeleton skull for sure and then maybe other mob heads too also a flower pot would look nice and uh, yeah basically we're gonna dress that up make it look really really good now uh item frames so all of these things are going to need item frames and now uh, that's gonna take a lot of item frames now if all of my calculations are correct we have a total of 100 chests on floor one and then I didn't even calculate the top floor, so I can't tell you how many, but we have a lot more chests up top. Then you have to remember, we also have these barrels. That's eight right there, and then two more. So 10 barrels, 20, 30, 40 barrels, plus all of the chests up top, plus these down here, or just down here, that's 140 separate containers. And by the way, to be clear, when I say we have 100 chests down here on floor one, that means 100 separate different chests, not 100 chests all together. Like this double chest right here, that'll count as one chest. Now, when am I going to move everything into the storage building? Well, good question. Uh, my plan is to start moving things into the storage building probably in between episodes. I feel like storage building organization uh, is just not the most exciting thing to watch, right? It, it's me running back and forth, putting things in here. Here's what I'm thinking, though. We'll put our important things like cobblestone and stuff. Maybe I, I'm kind of feeling like on this side over here. We'll probably end up doing like cobblestone and ground blocks in this section. Then maybe like woods over here. And yeah, basically putting everything that's like itself like each other in sections near each other if that makes sense but i i can't believe i'm gonna say this this is the first time in like a long time but i am actually almost entirely out of jungle wood which is crazy so what i think i'm gonna do just to preserve the jungle wood that i have in a stockpile is probably farm some spruce trees off camera another thing that i'm not going to be able to finish today but uh something that i definitely want to do down here red carpets so 
check this out we have the floor and it looks good and all but imagine this we have red carpets running along here like three wide going down pretty much as long as this thing like we would end uh, probably right here if I start where I started so red carpet would go right there and then same thing over here now obviously right now I have a lot of lanterns sitting on the floor the lanterns they're not the spiciest thing in the world but the lanterns they're also temporary we're gonna build a pumpkin farm really really soon and then we'll be able to put lighting under the carpets on the floor and that will light up the whole floor in here we won't have to worry about any exposed lighting which will look really good so that means unfortunately today the floor is just gonna have to stay with like lanterns all over the place it's a little bit of a bummer, but it'll be okay. In terms of beds in this building, I'm thinking I could probably fit them in. Well, honestly, I'm not too sure. Maybe over here by the door, maybe up front, somewhere. We'll be able to fit them in somewhere. And then again, banners in here as well. That'll be on the to-do list. And so that means it's time for today's comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is a brilliant idea. You need to get a lot of crying obsidian and put it in the ceiling of the iron fog cave so it will rain purple raindrops oh my gosh that is absolutely brilliant now i wanted to follow this up with a question uh, do you guys know of any ways that i could put crying obsidian and hide it and have the particles still drop like i haven't tested this out and maybe i should just swing over to creative mode in a different world and test it out but could i put like crying obsidian underneath a trap door it, it, you know put the trap door over it and then then the drops happen or does it not work like that because see i'd love to put crying obsidian in here but i almost feel like it would stand out a lot right so we'd have to get clever and hide it and i easily could get clever in here and hide it with trap doors so it would be pretty easy to do so that's another idea on the to-do list we definitely have to set up a farm for crying obsidian very soon though which means bartering machine and now the iron farm i wanted to wrap up today with the iron farm so check this out this is the productivity inside of here mm -hmm. very very good and then over here we have two new chests iron iron uh lots and lots of iron and then poppies over here yeah the poppies are still going crazy too but anyways i think that is going to do it for this episode of the minecraft guide i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did and you haven't yet make sure you leave a like it really helps me and the videos out thoughts on the storage building thoughts on the shaders definitely let me know down in the comments below today big shout out to my patrons sci fireman and films i'll see you in the next video until then storage cathedral goodbye everyone